by drawing a triangle. <coughs> Has to be right angled, 90 degrees. You know, yeah. when it's right angled, then Pythagoras works. Has to be right angled triangle. Doesn't work if it's not right angled. Okay. To be right angle, you must see this in the triangle, and then Pythagoras works. Okay. If I were to call this um, side A, side B, and side C, if I do that, then you'll know already, um, Nathan, that you're going to have the square on this side here is equal to the square of that at the square of that. Yes? You know that already? What does that mean? Yeah. Did you close it or multiply it? It's Pythagoras theorem, yeah? And this is how I'd like to write it down. You ready? And I'm going to give you a sentence in English to remember it by, okay? The square... You copy after me? The square? The square. The square, huh? Yeah, the square, square. square. on the hypotenuse. On the hypotenuse, what? Is equal to... Equal to... The sum, the sum of the squares, of the squares on the shorter sides. On the shorter sides. My turn and your turn. You ready? The square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the shorter sides. And you know this long side here. It's called the hypotenuse. You know this name. You don't have that in Belgium now. What do you call that side? The long side, just the long side. You just call it the long side? Yeah. Oh, we have a special name for it in England. Yeah. We have a special name for it. Hypotenuse, yeah. Hypotenuse, yeah. yeah. It's a special name in England in the, the names of the triangles. Yeah. And the shorter sides. Okay. That's special, but this one is. It's always the longest side, okay. called the hypotenuse. Yeah. Let's take you the square on the hypotenuse. Square on hypotenuse. Side A is called in England the hypotenuse. Yeah. yeah. Always that. It's always called that. It's always the hypotenuse. Okay. It's equal to it's the equal sum. To so it's when you add, you always got the sum of something. Yeah. These are then two more squares, b squared and c squared, the shorter sides. My turn, ready? The square on the hypotenuse is the sum of the squares on the shorter sides. Give that a go, whole sentence. Okay. The square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the shorter sides. Perfect. Okay, write it down. Write it down. And that's always true. Okay, he's going to write it down, Kevin. Isn't cool. It? Yeah. Now, um, Esmail, if I was teaching this normally, what I would do, I wouldn't do that straight away. Okay. I'd show why. I'd prove why. You know, yeah. what principles is proof. Mm -hmm. Well, I would prove this before I stay. But because we're in a short amount of time right now. Yes. Because Nathan has already come across it. Yeah. I won't do the proof. Mm -hmm. Teaching this say on um, not the next course but the one after. Yeah. Then I will teach why that's true. Okay. But but for us right now, what I'll do, I'll just show you very quickly um, another little diagram for it, and I'll and I'll use some numbers that are helpful numbers to show what I mean. Okay. okay. Nathan wants to read out what he's written down first to check. Nathan, would you like to read out what you've written down so Heidi can check you've got it? The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the square uh, to the sum of the squares on the shorter side. So can you can you say that again and watch? But help me out. Say it a little bit slower, and I'll write it as you say it. Go on. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum. 
of the squares on the shorter sides. Do you see how I write it? Yeah. Write it in the order that you say it. Yeah. And if, if you get used to doing that, then you'll never forget it. Write it as you say it. Mm. Okay? We've talked about visual and audio, haven't we? We've talked yeah. about visual and kinesthetic. Visual audio. I see it as I hear it, as I write it, kinesthetic. Does that make sense? So this is something you, you, you should learn. You should need to learn and know inside out and back to front. Okay? But complete on the other hand, not complete. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So can you see it's an equation? Yeah. How much is there here? A squared. How much is there here? B squared at C squared. How much is there here? A squared. How much is there here? B squared plus C squared. Remember when we've done the equations in the in the course? How much is there here? A squared. How much is there here? B squared plus C. How do you know? Because equals means same value. Yeah. Same value. How much is there here, Nathan? B plus C. No. Square. Square. B squared add C squared. Not, it's not B plus C. No. no. B squared plus C squared. How much is there here? Yeah. Um, A squared. Yes. How much is there here? B square at C square. Perfect. How much is there here? A square. Perfect. How much is there here? B square at C square. Ta -da. Okay. Good. Next thing you need to know. The square. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. okay. The square. Yeah. One by one. One squared. One times one. That's what it means. Times it. So it's one, one. One, one. One times one is one. Okay? Two by two, two squared, two times two, it's four. Yeah. Square numbers, you know these? Yeah. Yeah, you know these? Yeah. 16. Yes. Yeah. 20. 25, yes. You know this? Yeah. Okay, know all these? You know yeah. Yeah. Okay. What? Ready? What's this? Yeah. Ready? Nine. Add sixteen is twenty-five. You see that? Yeah. Nine add sixteen is twenty-five. Yeah. Oh, so in that case then, 5 squared, 25, equals 3 squared, 9, and 4 squared, 16. 5 equals 9, add 16. Your turn. Your turn. 5 squared equals... 25. 25. Equals three squared nine 
Nine, add. 16. Yeah, good. Chain, chain, it works. Okay, so look. The square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the shorter sides. So this triangle must work. Hypotenuse, five. Five square on the hypotenuse. The sum of the squares on the short sides. Good numbers to know. Very good numbers to know. Yeah. Do you know this one? You know? Let's see. Yeah, that's what I just checked. Let's see. Do you know that? Yeah, 13 learned, square, 100. Do you know that? Them, yeah, I learned them, but I don't use them. Okay, we we'll, just, we'll, we'll use them from now. Ready? Ready? Twenty five out of one hundred and forty four. One hundred and sixty nine. Yeah. So you see it? Twenty five out of one hundred and forty four. One hundred and sixty nine. Okay. Yeah. So thirteen squared equals five squared add twelve squared. Another one that works. So you could have another triangle. 5, 12, 13. And it works. Pythagoras works. Because the square and the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the shorter sides. Okay? Just want to show you that because they're very helpful, those. There's another one there. Shall I show you? Another one? Yeah. Okay. You see it? 36 yeah. four is 100. So another one that works. 10 squared will equal 6 squared plus 8 squared. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. just useful to know those. Because sometimes, sometimes they're the numbers in the questions. Sometimes they're the numbers in the questions and have a name because they work like that. In England, they have a name. They call this. Pythagorean triples. They come in threes. Pythagoras, Pythagorean. Triples for English, coming threes is a triple. Okay? Just, these are just very helpful ones to know. You have that down? Yeah. Yep, yeah, okay. You ready? So what's A? Five. Five. You know this? Yeah. Not tricky? Okay. That's not tricky yet. Um. What's C? Mm. What do you add to four to make eight? Four. four. So remember we did in the, in the equations we've been doing in the course. Basic equations, yes, that we did in the course a few weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah, okay with that? 
You okay with this? You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What about this? Ready? Yeah. What's a squared? Uh, Look here, what do you do? 20. Uh, 10, 20. Yeah. 5. What? Oh, hey, hang on. What did you say? 5. What is 5? A number. It's right, but what, what's 5? Uh, I don't think. A, a squared. A squared. A squared is five. Five. A squared is twenty-five. Yes. So A must be five. Why? Absolutely right. But why? Because five times five is twenty-five. If a squared is 25, and it is, because it says so, equals, a must be 5, because 5 times 5 is 25. Okay? Yeah. Do you have a name for that in Belgium? In England, we call that square root. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have it. It's called we, we call it Vierkant's vortus, but it's the same square roots. Yes, square roots. Okay, yeah, yeah. So in England, we have the symbol. Okay, yeah, yeah. Square root of 25. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, so the steps are there. Yeah, okay. All good? Okay with that? All good? Yeah. Good? Okay. You ready? Yeah. Don't know what that is. Centimeters. X centimeters, eight centimeters, six centimeters. What was Pythagoras? X uh, square X equals the square on the hypotenuse, hypotenuse. is equal to equal to the squares sum of the, sum of the squares. Some of the squares on the short side. Which one of these is the hypotenuse? X. So I'll go to blue. Hypotenuse, yes. It's always the longest side. Always opposite the right angle. Never anywhere else. Always opposite the right angle. Pythagoras for this. Say again. The square. Mm -hmm. oh. The square, the square on the on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the short sides. Sum of the short sides. Squares. 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 On the short sides. Mm -hmm. um, Sixty-four. Sixty-four at thirty-six equals. Um, using the be the one hundred. Ten. Almost right. Watch. Not just the number, centimeters. 
centimeters, centimeters, 10 centimeters, yes. Yes, good. Yeah. It must be a unit on the end. Sometimes maybe kilometers, yeah. maybe centimeters. Okay. Always a real life situation. Okay? Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, ready? Put that down or? Yeah. You have that, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I wrote it down. <laughs> you're too good, you're too good as well. <laughs> okay? Where's the hypotenuse? Uh, 13. Why? Yes, why? Because it's the longest side. Good. Where do you find the longest side? Opposite of the square. Opposite the right angle. Yes. What's Pythagoras? The square of the hypotenuse. Well, watch. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the shorter sides. You know these? You've not used them before? 13 squared? 169. Yes. Good. Is it the same value as? 25. Add? Um, X squared. Nathan, what do you add to 25 to make 169? In green. 144. Yeah. You see? Yeah. yeah. So, hey, hang on. What do you add? What do you add? What do you add to 25? The value 169? 144. So what must x squared be? 144. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, 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 what, what, what? Yes, x squared must be 144. There's no choice. It'd be 144. Well, we did it. I didn't hear it. Yeah. What? Yeah. Ah, 12. Almost. I don't, I don't hear it. Almost. Uh, uh, centimeter. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Ready? I'm, I'm being deliberate. I'm doing the numbers on purpose. Those are the triples. They give me whole number answers. They give me integers, whole numbers for answers. 9, 16, 25, 36, 400, 25, 144. They give me whole numbers. Okay, we'll do one without those numbers now. You ready? Yeah. Okay. You got your calculator ready? Do you have a calculator? Yeah. Do you have the square root button on there? Yeah, yeah. Close to the close to the camera so I can see it. Back a fraction. Go down a little bit. Go down a little bit. 
Did the light slow? Okay, good. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm checking the calculator is because um, on your phone, you've got the calculator on your phone. Yeah. Can you type sure. in this one, just on the phone? You do this. Can you do that on, the, on your phone? Type in as you see it. M plus three, yeah. What's your answer? On the phone. Seven. How many? Seven. Seven. Oh, good. That's correct. Type that in the calculator. Seven. It's correct. Do you know what? Some phones have old calculators on them. And some phones and old calculators don't give the answer seven, the correct answer. They give the answer nine, which is wrong. Right? Try on your phone, Ismail. Yeah, that was my phone. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm trying on an older calculator I have here. Yeah. Yeah, this one. It gives yeah. nine. Yeah, it's wrong. Yeah, it gives nine. Well, yeah, it's wrong. Yeah. Okay, I'll try it away. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 just, just know, just know that this yeah. is one get set to get yeah. two, three times. There are two terms, we call, we call this a term and this a term. I just couldn't tell her. Yeah. Rubbish tech. Yeah. You, Ismail, you and I grew up that rubbish tech. Yeah. And it was the cause, it was the cause of many, many tears in maths. Okay. Tech was rubbish. Okay. It couldn't cope with mathematical logic. Yeah. The new phones and the one, the calculator you got there, uh, Nathan, can do this properly. So that's good. Okay. okay. Just wait to check that that was what it's right. Okay. You ready? Eleven kilometers. Five kilometers. X kilometers. Where's the hypotenuse? X on the opposite side of the square. Opposite the right angle. Right angle. Always the longest side, yes? Yeah. We say right angle because it's ninety degrees. Do you use that term? Do you call it a right angle in Belgium or a similar phrase or not? Uh, a right, yeah. Do you, say, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Do you say right angle, yes? Yeah, yeah. We, we say a rech rechtu, but it's the same. Yeah, there you go. So, so do, you know, but do you know why it's called a right angle, a rechtu? Do you know why? Why not a left angle? No, in English is left and right. Yeah. But it's rectu and... What would be your left in yes. Links. What, what word do you use? Links. Links. Okay, so when a links angle, right or left? Yes. Why? Why right? It's nothing to do with left and right. Um, back back in the fifteenth, sixteenth century, when they're building fences and barns. And they have to put in the support structures, <coughs> build the house. Mm. If you put in the, the if you put in the um, the pile like this, it would always fall over. If you put the pile in there, it's a strong. When it's perpendicular, it's the correct angle. In England, we call that right. The, in English, we can use the word right for correct. It's the correct angle to have. So in England, that's why it became called the right angle. Okay. Yeah. Not left or right. It's correct. 
Correct. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it is correct. And then you can yeah. have a strong structure and the buildings don't fall over. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, so, but we adapt, th we adopt these names and we then use them and they just become what we use all the time for no real knowing why. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so right angle, always opposite. So, what's Pythagoras? Um, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the squares on the shorter sides. So, is the sum? Thanks. Yes, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum. Of the squares on the shorter sides. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Keep saying that every single time. We have a saying, how do you know? Practice makes permanent. Practice makes, um, in English, practice, you do it again. Do it like iteration. Do it, do it again. Do it, do it all the time. Make the same sounds. Write the same thing. Practice makes permanent. And let's get the correct thing written down every time. My next line then, 11 squared. Uh, <coughs> one number 21. Yep. 25. Ooh. Let me show you something. You know, um, 10 squared is 100, yes? You know, 11 squared, 121, yes? You know, 12 squared, 144, yes? You know, 13 squared, 169, yes? Yeah. Well, look, 146 is... Between here, isn't it? Yeah. It's not 12. It's not 13. It's going to be 12 and a bit. You okay? You got the idea? It's going to be 12 and a bit. Well, you can kind of tell you the bit. Square root 146. Yep. I don't have a calculator, you have to tell me. Do we? Type that in. Twelve. Twelve. Making comma. Point. Point, Point zero eight three zero four five five seven. But it goes on, doesn't it? It just the calculator screens run out, hasn't it? But the number goes on. It just keeps on going. Yeah. We only need to think about the number we have here. What is this? Eleven kilometers. Eight kilometers. So if we go to one decimal place, if we go to here, Nathan, is this nearer to 12 or is it nearer to 12.1? 12.1. So my answer? 12.1 kilometers. One decimal place. I don't know how you would say that in Belgium. In decimal. One accurately. In decimal. One one de de decimal would say. There you go. Good. No. Yeah. Twelve point one. One for me is one decimal place. No. Okay. Yeah. What? Yeah. What's Pythagoras? 
the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the shorter side. Awesome. Awesome. Ready? One more. One more. Ah, the square. Um, <laughs> Okay, you're wrong. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, I'm going to be Yeah. What's Pythagoras? The square of. Sorry, hang on. Sorry, sorry. Which is the hypotenuse? Um, 182 times 7. Point seven. Yeah. Point seven. Point seven. Point seven. I'm going to put times. Oh, you use the dot notation for times. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll try and draw it in the middle and not the bottom. So it's a, yeah, okay. a comma. You have a comma, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Would this help? You have this instead. No. Before. No. Okay. Okay. Sorry, what's Pythagoras? The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the short of the square of the shorter sides. I don't know those numbers. I don't know I don't know those numbers. They're not familiar. What is this on your calculator? What is this on your calculator? Well, From thirty-three thousand three hundred seventy-nine dots to twenty-nine. We don't know that. What's that squared? That number. What's that squared? What is it? Eight thousand eight hundred ninety-two dot forty-nine. Now, Tom, what do you add to eight thousand eight hundred ninety-two point four nine to make thirty-three thousand three hundred nine point two nine? Subtract those. Take this okay. from that. Yeah? What does that square equal? Yeah. Three, three, yeah, three Subtract this from here. Yeah, common in 20. Mean 24,486.8 24,486.8 24,486.8 24,486.8 24,486.8 24,486.8 24,486.8 24,486.8 24,486.8 24,486.8 24,486.8 24,486.8 24,486.8 24,486.8 24,486.8 24,486.8 24,486.
Mm -hmm. Say one one decimal place. Um, Near to point four or point five. Point five. Almost. Um, meters. Yeah. Now, this is very helpful. In a test, to speed things up a little bit. That, that key is the last value on the screen. Like an automatic memory. Yeah. Very helpful. When the numbers get tricky like this, these numbers are tricky now. They're not familiar numbers. They're really tricky to work with. They're big numbers. But look, what is it? The square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the shorter sides. What is it? The square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the shorter sides. What is it? The square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the shorter sides. What is it? The square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the shorter sides. What is it? What's it called? Pythagoras. Pythagoras. What is Pythagoras? What is it? The square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the shorter sides. It's always the same thing. It never changes. Sometimes you have to find the hypotenuse. Sometimes you have to find the shorter side. Yeah. So, so what? Look what it is in actual fact. Look very carefully. Can you see it? It's something equals something add something. It's something equals something, add something. But the something is a square number. So you have to square root to get the final value. So there's a few things to have to do, yes. But look, it's just like the equations we did in the course. Yeah. But they're called, diff you know the power to name things? It's called something else. A squared. But A squared. It's got a different name. So what? I'm still adding two things to make this. Okay? Yeah. Last thing to leave you with, okay? Learn these inside out, back to front. You ready? Write this down somewhere, Natal. So you have this locked in your head. I think you know them already. We're going to write them down anyway. One squared, one, two squared, four, three squared, nine, four squared, sixteen, five squared, twenty five, six squared, thirty six. 7 squared, 49, 8 squared, 64, 9 squared, 81, 10 squared, 100, 11 squared, 121, 12 squared, 144, 13 squared, 14 squared, 196, 15 squared, 225. Know them, learn them.
know them, learn them. What's the square root of 16? The square root of 16. Ah, four. Four. Square root of 49. Seven square. Square root of 169. 13. Okay. So, so when you have the numbers in your test, in your questions, and they may look mapped on, they may look something like this, might they? They look something like, because we have, we have these sheets on our courses on a Saturday. So maybe that you have questions that um, maybe look like this. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. yes. Okay. And what, is it? what are they? What's it? What, what is it? What is it all the time? Pythagoras. Pythagoras. Why is it Pythagoras? Um, Why will Pythagoras work? The formula of Just because because what's Pythagoras? The square. Ah, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the shorter sides. In this triangle? No. 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 Why not? It's not um, square, Rect right? Yeah, it's Rectic. not rectangular. Now, yes. Now, yes. Yeah. yeah. This triangle? Yes. Yeah. This triangle? No. Until? Yeah. Yeah. Hypotenuse where? Um the opposite of the square opposite the right. the right angle yes yeah if this was um x y z what's pythagoras for this one uh z square equals so stop I'm wrong but don't say it like that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of yeah. the squares on the shorter sides and then, and then it looks like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But don't, but don't say it like that. It's not wrong. It isn't wrong what you're about to say. It doesn't get you to remember what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, right. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Um, what must come at the end? What must you have at the end? At the very, very end? Centimeters. Centimeters. Or kilometers. kilometers. You have to have it at the end. Yeah. Yeah. If you don't put that on the end, it's wrong. Mm -hmm. You have the correct number, but it's not right yet until you put that on the end. Yeah. Then it's complete. Then you're done. Yeah. And then you can go like this. Then you can go chink, chink, and maybe even do this. Okay. <laughs> what am I doing? Up an egg and back, yeah? I've done well. I've got it all right. I have to pat myself on the back. Be kind to myself. Yeah. Okay. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> and, any other questions? Is that about right? No. Do you have okay. a question you want to try now just to finish on? Yeah. Go or draw complete. Of the end. Yeah, but you must it draw. Um, you want to? Ah, draw it. You have one to show me? Pack it up and go now. We get exercises like this. Yeah, the square. See the squares. The square on the hypotenuse. The square on the sides. They. Yeah. The squares on the sides. Yeah. You see? So look, if I go back to my three, four, five, shall I show you? Yeah.
It's a sketch. Not very tidy. It's a sketch. How many squares here? How many little squares? Nine. Nine. How many here? Sixteen. How many there? Twenty-five. Oh. The square on the hypotenuse is two. The sum of the squares on the shorter sides. Yeah. So the picture you have is this. But look, Nathan, this is the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the shorter sides. It's always. Always. It's never not. It's only if. Only if. Right angled. If it's not right angled, you need something else. Yeah. It's called the cosine rule. Yeah. When we come to it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but, okay. Not on. Let us see the sun believe I can do. Nee, that thing is for. Then we do not want to leave. But nee, that whole thing is not open. Is that the best way? Ma, nee, get that one. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay, hold it. Any yeah. Come there before we finish. Uh, are they just like that? Okay. Hmm? The questions only like those, or? No, they are sometimes different. Uh, sometimes we get them like this as well, like this, and then we have to fill in on our own. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Sometimes like this. Sometimes like this. What do you know? What do you know about Pythagoras? The sum. The, sum the, the square. square on the. The sum of the square of the shorter sides. Hello. Oh. Perfect. Always, always, yeah. always the same. Yeah. Always, so long as. Yeah, the right angle. Right angle. If it's not right angled, not true. Yeah. But you know what? If I draw this triangle for you, see this triangle here? Let me draw another one for you here. Is this triangle right angled? You ready? You're doing a sailing race or something. Is that triangle right angled? No. How can you tell? It doesn't have the right angle mark. Look at the numbers. The numbers. Left one. Yes. Why? Because, because the yeah the the ah the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square on the shorter sides. So because it works, it must be right angled. Yeah. Must be. Is this triangle right angled? Triangle right angle. Maybe. Think it. I think not. Why? Why not? Because the uh, the square on the hypotenuse. Huh? <laughs> 
Kevin, could, could you move the board a little bit? Okay, perfect, thank you. The square on what would be the hypotenuse does not equal the sum of the squares and the shorter sides. Not right now. That couldn't be taken. Yeah. Can calculate. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Yep. So you, you might get asked sometimes the other way, is it right angled? Mm. Well, you now know how to answer that as well. Test the numbers. Test the numbers. Is it true? No. So it's not right angled. If it's true, yes, it's right angled. Can I put two in this name? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Good. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. Good job. Perfect. Okay. Good luck with your test. Practice makes perfect. Okay. Kevin, thank you very, very much for your time. No problem at all. My pleasure. Okay. Speak to you soon. Okay. Speak. Bye bye. Have a good week. Good luck, Nathan. See you okay. soon. Bye bye, bye now.